In this video, we're going to discuss some of the risks in the Philippines. Is it safe to uh, visit and to live in the Philippines? Uh, this on top of the recent kidnapping of an American uh, down in the uh, southwest region, kind of a no-go zone of the Philippines. And uh, then the recent storm, uh, the recent storm. It never turned into a typhoon, what you call hurricane back in the U.S., a uh, big, big uh, cyclone that came through here across uh, northern Luzon, but it affected the energy, the winds and clouds and rains affected most of the Philippines, even though you've got hundreds and hundreds of kilometers in length here. Let's zero in on the Philippines in the West Pacific and talk about safety on a number of different levels. I'll use the map for a bit and point out uh, specific areas. Generally, traveling the Philippines, very, very, very safe. I, uh, I feel much safer here than almost any area in the United States, towns and cities. Um, people are friendly, they're helpful, uh, many speak English, and that certainly helps. You've got 7, 000, uh, over 7,000 islands, but don't let that scare you away. Uh, as I think only 2,000 of them are named, something like that, and uh, only about 11 of the largest ones will be of any concern to you unless you are doing some island hopping, uh, diving, scuba diving, uh, various things like that, uh, the 11 biggest ones. So that really narrows, narrows it down quite a bit. You've got the large island down here, Mindanao, and this has some no-go areas, especially the southwest area over here. Um, southwest area is kind of a no-go area, big Muslim area. And uh, if you're not part of that uh, system, uh, you come up on some risk. The guy that was recently possibly kidnapped may have been something else. It may have been some personal grudge or something government is saying. It is very rare that you ever read about uh, kidnappings anymore. It used to happen many years ago. But anywhere, Eastman case not kidnapping, government exec sa says uh, nobody has demanded a ransom. Uh, not sure. Many of you are aware of some of the details down there. Um, and, uh, you know, he knew he, he'd been warned that people were wanting kidnapping, but that was where his home was. That's where his wife and wife's family was from. He had some kind of business there as well. Uh, they had a few years ago. They had a uh, many-month war with uh, Islamic terrorists up in this area, Lanao del Sur, I believe. This is a recent article, October 2024, five-dollar terrorists land in Lanao, and that's that area, big, big uh, lake down there, and big. Uh, Muslim type area but there are a number of different types of groups armed groups and uh, that that are involved they fight against each other uh, there's clans there's families there's uh, fighting over various things and various reasons so certain areas you want to ask the locals and be aware that you shouldn't be there and uh, the army fought that until they demolished much of the town killed or captured uh, those people um, you've got risks with storms coming in off the Pacific, hitting the warm, much, much, much warmer uh, Philippine Sea waters, gaining a lot of strength. They can turn into typhoons, cyclones, what you call hurricanes, part, parts of the world over in the Atlantic. Um, we've got uh, occasional earthquake, occasional volcano, uh, to all volcano up here in Batanga, south of Manila is uh goes off and on again uh con leon down here in negros been spewing a little bit out recently but uh may or may not uh over here in south southern luzon island um got a couple of i think active volcanoes but they're not doing very much presently and as we've seen from the last big storm that came across here is you don't need you don't need a typhoon a hurricane a cyclone uh, to do some major major damage and uh, uh, cyclones are basically rated 
according to their wind speeds. But uh, a large storm can kind of stall out, which it did here in the Bacol region, and inundated, flooded over half the uh, barangays, the villages in the Bacol region up here. Naga City, I think right in this area, over half the, uh, the villages in that, that city area were underwater but it did much more damage there. We, we had a lot of winds. We had three days of big winds even down here as the, uh, the rain and wind bands from that storm spread out. Landslides are one of the uh, more devastating things. They can bury a complete village and uh, this happened up in Batangas which is south of Manila area. Uh, 14 dead. The death toll from Christine, the tropical storm, uh, 46 and many missing still uh, some pictures from uh, from online of the flooding, uh, big areas of towns. Uh, so many of you are going to live wherever your girlfriend, boyfriend lives and their family lives. You're going to move to that area because she wants to be in that area. You're going to come here. You're going to meet her there. You're going to become familiar with the area. And uh, many of you will settle in. But be aware of low-lying areas. Be aware of what's number one, water. Uh, how secure is the water source? Um, flooding, what's your risk of flooding? Um, food sources, uh, internet and cellular surface, service reliability once you have a storm. And this map shows you how many on average number of uh, typhoons per year in the Philippines. This was affected by a number of things, El Nino, La Nina, and other factors. Uh, but anyway, you can see that the farther north you go and uh, basically the farther uh, the east coast there, the east coast, they come in from the Pacific and they're going to hit those, those east, east coast uh, areas more than Mindanao uh, gets very little and especially down further. But you can have the very large storms that do as much or more damage than a named uh, typhoon, cyclone. And I found some uh, some typhoon tracks uh, from different years. This one in particular is 2011, but you can find different ones online. And they can go anywhere. They usually head uh, north, northwest, but not always. Some of them uh, are pushed down, for instance, by a high pressure system that might push it further and go across the, uh, the center of, of the Philippines as well. So you just need to be aware of what's going on in your area and plan ahead, plan ahead. I have a membership site on my YouTube channel as well. You can, you can join that and I, two different levels. Uh, and I offer up deeper dives into a number of different subjects. Uh, one is uh, safety risk factors, number of different risk factors that you should consider when you decide where to visit and live. You know, you have risk factors everywhere. You got Tornado Alley in, in the United States, you got hurricanes, you got uh, earthquakes in California. You know, you, you all, in the back of your mind at least, think about some of those risks and uh, sometimes you, you make decisions based on that. But uh, anyway, on my membership site, I take deeper dives into real estate and the situation with real estate here in uh, parts of the Philippines. Uh, especially with the POGOs, Philippine Offshore uh, Gaming orga Organizations that are being told they have to leave. They, uh, they employ uh, tens, if not hundreds of thousands of uh, people, many of them Chinese, some, but some from Filipinos as well as other countries as well. They're being told they all have to shut down and leave the Philippines. That's having a major effect on real estate. Uh, up here, especially in the uh, Manila area where they congregate, but also down here in Cebu and other large cities as well as they're being forced to shut down. A lot of illegal pogos as well. There are a couple of other uh, daily risks that you could find yourself uh, dealing with if you're not careful. Pickpockets would be one, and uh, I've lost, uh, I think, three phones over nine years and it's because I got into uh, got into big crowds of people at the Cinelog Festival for instance just people crushing against each other and I come out of the crowd with no phone no wallet um, so I've, I've had that happen number of very expensive lessons so uh, 
learn how to secure your your valuables one way or another I often don't even carry my phone with me anymore uh, just because of that uh, partly because of that and, and partly because I just I, I don't need it and don't want to be bothered by it um, walking I walk a lot uh, the sidewalks in many areas in the Philippines I mean it's a bit of an obstacle course uh, many people walk in the street because the sidewalks are in such disrepair and especially at night uh, although you know here in Cebu City they uh, have been adding quite a few uh, street lights different places which is is good but you can be walking and uh, and I have many years ago a pretty good sidewalk that I was familiar with and I was walking at night without a flashlight and all of a sudden man I went down there was a new hole in the pavement uh, going down into the uh, water drainage tile and uh, yeah, I got still have a scar from that several years ago so uh, yeah just be aware be careful carry flashlights uh, animals are another issue um, you know you're um, I'm, I, I like dogs and cats and other animals uh, here they're they're not aggressive, but if you approach them, they may get aggressive, so just stay away from them. Uh, animal bites are one of the biggest things that they treat in hospitals, I'm, I'm told. And uh, last but not least, girls. Girls, relationships could be the most dangerous of all these items. And, uh, you know, you're all, uh, I think you're all old enough, mature enough. To know better, to know better than to get yourself, uh, let your emotions run wild, falling in lust uh, for several months, and then getting uh, getting too deeply involved in certain things, committed to certain things. Uh, you know, I've, I've I've met several expats who uh, you know fell in love very early on, have great relationship, have family, have children. Uh, with the uh, new Filipina, and, uh, and that that can go, but it it can go the other way as well. So you know, uh, many people advise don't get too serious in the first year. Get to know somebody. Get to know somebody. Have an idea what uh, what uh, your needs and wants are, what hers are or his are, depending upon your male or female, and. Uh, Use, use some intelligence, some reason. You can find stories out there, mostly good stories, but you can find stories out there where people have been scanned, scammed and lost, uh, lost a lot. You know, many of you have had that happen back in your own country, back in USA with divorce laws and such. So anyway, that's going to end it right here. Looking forward to your comments. Safe travels to you all. See you next time.